From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. The budget process now moving through Parliament. Senators getting their first look at the official numbers after they were tabled in the House yesterday by Finance Minister Prime Minister Minnis. House debate on the budget begins next week Wednesday, and we know the likely tone of the opposition side, the PLP, Deputy Leader Chester Cooper describing the budget as an election time budget. I watched them with their exuberance banging on the tables at every chance they got. <coughs> Meanwhile, people are living in cars. Single mothers don't know tonight how they are going to feed their children. Persons who are unemployed are seeking unemployment <coughs> assistance from the government, but they are being told that since they got assistance during Dorian, they cannot get assistance now. And Cooper says the budget will speak on solutions to address what he calls a looming debt crisis. The government is planning to borrow almost a billion dollars. The deficit for the next fiscal year is expected to be around $950 million. The national debt expected to be around $10 billion by the end of the period. Cooper says the current administration is clearly not equipped to provide the country with a path out of it. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Prime Minister Min is making no bones about it. The recovery of the economy is not going to be easy or happen overnight. For one thing, revenue is not expected to return to pre-Dorian Corona numbers right away. Revenues are projected to remain 7.5% below the 2.426 billion posted in fiscal year 2018-2019 reflecting the fact that our economy will not likely return to full capacity during the upcoming fiscal year. Health officials continue to monitor those communities under lockdown to try and contain a recent spread of the coronavirus. So far, so good. Officials reporting no major issues related to the lockdowns in Cat Island, parts of the Berries, and parts of Andros. Latest numbers are in also. They're for Tuesday, and the downward trend continues. A total of 25 cases reported for the country, up from the 18 on Sunday. The hospital situation remains stable. 47 persons being treated around the country, three in intensive care. No other deaths have been reported. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Overnight IQ Weather Update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Turning partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 71 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds light and variable. The sea's three feet or less overnight. Low tide now, the next high around 10 this evening. Friday's forecast, mostly sunny highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. For news headlines, authorities in the U.S. continue their investigations into the latest mass shooting in that country. It left nine persons dead and others injured in San Jose, California. The shooter also died in the incident. More than 200 mass shootings have been reported in the U.S. already this year. Tension increasing between the U.S. and China over the origin of the coronavirus after U.S. President Biden ordered his agencies to carry out a complete investigation into the matter over the next three months. China is calling the move a political exercise. A United Nations official says the recent Israeli airstrikes into Gaza, which killed almost 200 persons, could be war crimes. The ceasefire is still holding. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. On TV, there's soccer and Major League Baseball. Jazz on the Marlins finishing up a series with the Phillies today. The NBA playoffs continue tonight. Three games on TV, the Bucks and the Heat. The Andre and the Suns at the Lakers for Game 3 in their series. Denver and Portland will also play. 
John Quell and the Sun off again tonight in the WNBA. Next game at home tomorrow night against Washington. There's some golf on TV also. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.